In this tutorial, we will learn how to make this spring type model in SOLIDWORKS with the help of curve through reference point. We have to create two plane and uh, we will create this curves through reference point. Let's see how to do this exercise in SOLIDWORKS. This is very important. We already learned many things here like composite curve, split line and helix and spiral. So let's see what is curve through reference point. So here this is the R drawing and we are going to create this part with the help of curve through reference point. So here we will create two planes. One is our normal top plane and another one is 20 millimeter above the top plane. See here the distance and the thickness of this ring it's 3 millimeter and there is 16 instances diameter 60. Both side is same diameter in both uh, things and uh, we will create this curve. Let's see how this all dimensions in millimeter. So I am going to choose top plane a sketch. Now activate circle. Start first point origin then drag let's say 100 millimeter enter. Escape key to out and see this is fully defined sketch center. Let me draw one. This is also fully defined. We need 16 instances. Go to circular sketch pattern entities. I am going to choose this. Here angle 360 equal spacing and instances 16. Look is going to divide into 16. Say yes. The drawing is also fully defined. That's it. Now exit. Now just go to top plane and create one plane just above the this top plane. Keep that th gap 20 millimeter. Say yes. Now we want to copy this to this similarly. No need to change anything, nothing. So what we will do? Just hold control key. Now select both sketch one, sketch two, and make sure you hold control key. Insert and here click derived sketch. Look, once you click and leave, see it is copied, but it is not fully defined. You have to create few relations. Like what? Like uh, let's say this point and hold shift key this point coincide. This point and this center point coincide. Look, this is fully defined sketch now. Simply exit, hide. Now let's try to find curve through reference point. Even you will find these things in insert curves, curve through reference point. Okay, now here we have to choose those point which is going to be make our curve. So and the next option is curve close. So I'm going to start, let's say this one. Then second point this, then third point, I'm going to leave this one and I'm going to alternate, see, the fourth point this, no, not this, delete, this would be fourth point, fifth point this, again move, six, seven alternate points you have to skip one and choose another one in both side just rotate so that you will get idea what's going on here now we are it's uh, near to close Now just look once, okay, that's going fine. Now at the end, you don't need to click point one because we already choose here closed curve. Say yes, look, the curve is created and it's closed. Now I'm going to use swift boss base, circular profile depth, three millimeter. 
and I am going to simply choose this curve and see it is created option like okay so that's normal look if I am going to say so this is the very useful tool curve through reference point I hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS thanks for watching